hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Virgos. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day, Virgos. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. We're going to get right into your reading on today. We have some planets that are retrograde right now, but it, uh, and we're moving towards a full moon. As a matter of fact, we have one more day for this full moon. So a lot of things have been happening, you know, moving towards this full moon. And I want to make sure you all are on track. But of course you are, Virgos. So first things first, let's talk about it. Let's let's do some I am's because it's very, very important that you remember who you are, especially when you are trying to um, allow your actions to speak louder than your words, right? You got to let your actions speak louder than your words because there's tons of people out here that will second guess and question Virgos, but I need your actions to speak louder than wor your words, right? So, um, or let other people know that let your actions speak louder than your words. Let's get into it. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading from my wonderful Virgos as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our intelligent, analytical, honest, reliable, perfectionist, who are also very loyal, kind, hardworking, practical gods and goddesses. When I call you a god or goddesses, I'm telling you that you are a creator. You, Virgo, create space for whatever it is you want to hold. If you want to create space for peace, joy, love, kindness, hard work, luxury, wealth, whatever it is you want to hold space, you create space for that. If you want to create space for something low vibrational like drama and gossip and those kind of things, you want to use your time very, very wisely. But I don't want you all to create space for anybody who is second guessing or doubting you Virgos. Okay. Yes. In every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. Yes, Virgo, let's see what the cards have to say. So, one, I want to let you know ahead of time before we even get into this thing, this reading, that you are. You are good enough, Virgo. Yeah, this is a time when you want to really, really be honest with yourselves. Like, really, really be honest with yourselves. Because you all are headed towards legacy wealth, right? And so, on your journey to legacy wealth, and I'll show you in just a second, boom, we have the Knight of Cups. Here we go, right there. We have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Page of Cups, right? We have the Empress card, right? We also have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. We also have the Sun card. Yes. So listen, it's going to be very important for you, Virgos. By the way, we're not doing any numbers today. Come back on Sunday for numbers. But listen, it's going to be very, very important for you all to stay focused. Really, really stay focused. You all are mutable signs. People will continue to come back into your spiritual house as far as many times as you allow them. That is like, let's say, for instance, you, you're living a house, you live in an apartment, whatever, but you live in a some dwelling, right? And so you have already ended a relationship with a person. It could have been a romantic relationship, professional relationship, a platonic relationship with a person, because I'm seeing romantic here. But with somebody that you loved, right? And that person trying to come back into your space. The only way that they can even attempt to come back into your space is if you have not completely closed that door, locked it, and double bolted it, right? And um, and so this is what I'm seeing here when I look at your cards, right? Some of you all may have kids with that person. See this right here, the emperor sign with, you know, with the belly is kind of big here. A person is about to give birth to something, but this also means other things as well, right? So like I said, being an imposter of gratitude for you Especially when you have overcome the, you know, for you, it's a, it's sort of a milestone. It's like, okay, you know what? You, if you think about it, like if you think of like um, creating, um, I don't know if it, people are familiar with Microsoft products, like let's say project or whatever, and you create a milestone, okay? So I started at this date. By this date, I should have this assignment finished. By this date, you know, I should have reached this one milestone. By this, I should reach the second milestone. This one, okay the project is over, right? If you want to look at it in terms of something physical, right? So in this right here, you have gone through many different, um, um, 
um, milestones with this person. Let's say you were in a relationship with this person. It could be a family member, somebody that you love, a romantic relationship, somebody that you love, um, even platonic relationship. Could be a good friend, somebody that you love, a professional job that you loved or whatever. So you've gone through many milestones with this situation. You're at a point now where you're at the end of the project. So you could say, whoo-hoo, I can celebrate now. I can finally celebrate because I'm not going back to that. I'm not never going back to that particular thing, right? And so when I talk about how using your time wisely, you determine what that you determine what using your time wisely means. But just for an example, for instance, if you had given this person who comes back to you with flowers in hand, with promises, the whole nine yards, hey, let's, you know, I was going through this, you were going through this at the time, and blah, blah, blah. You would create space, you would hold space for that energy, just one more time, right? Which is really counterproductive, right, Virgo? So you're not holding space for this energy right here anymore because you've released it out into the universe. This is what this posture of gratitude is all about. It's like, I've released it out into the universe. I'm no longer interested in that person. There's no way they can come back into my life, not because I'm angry, frustrated, bitter, or hurt. It just is what it is. I've been through many milestones with this individual and they and this project is finished. Yeah, look at it in those terms. So the universe decides, okay, good, Virgo. Now we can release money to you. Now we can release money to you because you're no longer holding on to, you're not doubling back. You're moving forward towards one milestone, two milestones, three milestones, or however many milestones that we can call them moon phases, if you want to call. You've gone through these different phases with this person, and now you've come to an end and you say, okay, enough is enough. I'm done. I'm done with that family member who showed me time and time and time again that we're not on the same frequency. I'm done with that job that, hey, you know what? It's over. I'm not looking back. I'm not to, I'm not trying to analyze what happened, who did what, none of that stuff. I'm moving on. I'm done with that romantic relationship that I've tried seven, eight, nine, ten years, whatever. You may have kids with the person. You may not have kids with the person. But nevertheless, it's over. It's time to now move on. Now the universe says, okay, now that you've gotten it all out of your system, now I can release legacy wealth. This is how it works. This is how it works. Yes, so now you're outside, you're grounding, you got your feet in the grass, hands raised up to the sun, getting that stale energy off of your, out of your system, Virgo, and you're feeling great about life. Now it's time to give birth to the very thing that you've been working for. That's why I said you are good enough. And this is what I'm saying. You got to show people better, you can, better than you can tell them. Hey. You got to show people better than you can tell them. Sometimes, like, you go, that's that's the whole purpose of, like, going on job interviews, right? Your, your resume says one thing, but when you get in that job, you're performing. You're a performer. You're getting it done. And one thing about Virgos is that you all usually get it done right the first time you try it. But in your mind, you're like, oh, I got I to gotta revisit this thing a thousand and one time. You really don't have to because if you were to show the person that you're reporting to, your your product the first time they would say oh my god i love it i absolutely love it right so you don't have to come with all the other stuff you don't have to bring any personal feelings about this person or that person into, you don't have to do all of that you, virgos in particular would get you would get your flowers your attaboys your pats on the back the kudos the whole nine yards if you stop second guessing yourselves I'm telling you, you all are already perfectionists. This is by default, our perfectionists. You want to get it done right the first time. So you've already, just show, just show people better than you can tell them. Let me show you what I have, right? Unless you're working under a leader or you're in a relationship to, of some degree with the person who is out of balance themselves, right? If they're out of balance themselves, they're going to find fault with everything you do. That's why I said... The other side of this, Virgo, is that you don't you don't need to you don't need to tell anybody anything. You just show them. You can show them better than you can tell them, right? And we're talking about specifically for this deck, because if I was talking about something else and I would bring it. But but here we go. Some of you all have been in absolute hostile relationships with people, right? And because we're talking about romantic here and for this particular deck, for this particular spread of cards, some of you all have been in hostile and 
volatile relationship where there's been some abuse involved, right? You want to get as far away from that energy as possible. It has been heartbreaking for some of you all. The moment you cried out, guess who came flying your way? Your ancestors. It's like, no, nope, we got you. Don't even worry about it. You won't have to go through this abuse with this person anymore. Right? You won't have to go through the, the the volatile attacks on your character. You're not this, you're not that. You should have done this, you should have done that. And for some people, it could have even been physical violence, right? And so um, you've gotten to the heart of the matter now versus staying in a relationship that was volatile. And on top of that, your intuition is extremely heightened. So now you're starting to listen to your... This is, but see, this is because you have... This is you tapped into your divine masculine side, right? So you all are divine feminine by default. You all are nurturers. Well, when you tapped into your divine masculine side and said, no, sir, no, ma'am, you cannot come back into my life. Boom. You balanced out your own energy. You got to the heart of the matter. Enough is enough. That's when the universe starts to release more money to you. That's when your, your third eye pops wide open because it's always been there. But you, because you have not completely... Um, decided in your spirit, enough is enough. I'm done. I'm cutting this person out of my life for good. It felt like there was a veil, like a thin veil over your eyes, like a person who is uh, looking through a dirty lens. Yeah. And so you felt restricted, but you don't feel restricted anymore. This is because you just took your power back, right? Now you're looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. Yes. And you're even meditating more because you're seeing things from a God level of clarity, Virgo. And this is exactly where you, okay, this is where your spirit has always been. Your flesh maybe needed to catch up. <laughs> this is where your spirit has always been. This is great. So you have to know, Virgo, that you are good enough. I don't care if you work for 20 different people and all 20 of those people said, mm, Virgo, mm -mm. no, nope. you're good enough because you say you're good enough. And so I don't even want you to internalize certain things, right? This is not being arrogant whatsoever. You're not gonna vibrate low. You're not gonna operate in ego. Operating in ego for a Virgo would be critical, would be judgmental, would be somebody who is fussy, very, very slow to move, someone who's procrastinating with everything, someone who is overthinking. That is you operating in ego, but your identity, oh no, cannot be touched. Here we go, drink hot tea. Some of you all get your herbal tea. I love herbal tea. I'm not a coffee drinker personally, but get your herbal tea out. There's so many benefits to drinking herbal tea, the antioxidants, all just, there's so many I can list and name. But again, this is great because the universe has been, it's almost like the universe has been sitting by waiting. Okay, when is Virgo going to completely sever ties with certain, certain people so that we can release things to Virgo? And this is what's happening right now. So sit down and drink your hot tea, get connected with you, source, most high, and your ancestors, and just let it all just flow. But this person who may be trying to come back into your space, your spirit has just, your spirit and your flesh are now one and saying no. And that's why uh, legacy wealth is now being released to you. Plus your power is coming back. You're going to start feeling powerful again. Your third eye is on fire. You're at the crown chakra. You're reaching your crown chakra. You've activated your crown chakra. So you're seeing things from a God level of clarity through meditation. Some of you all may have water in your chart. You could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If that's the case, you want to get near some water when you meditate so that if that that energy can flow. If you don't have water in your chart, if you have earth in your chart, you want to go outside and do some grounding, right? You want to do some grounding so that information can just flow. Um, if you don't have earth, if you don't have if you have um, if you don't have earth or water in your chart, you just have fire in your chart. You know, um, that's that fire in your belly. That's that, that energy. That's that, ooh, I just feel like I'm just on fire, you know, feeling hot. Yes. But anyway, that is what I have for you, Virgos. Have a fantastic day. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you set. Yep. Bye.